Katie of theinspiredoffice.com. I'm a professional organizer based out of DC, focusing on offices and paper. And today I'm coming to you from a kitchen in Houston, Texas. I was brought down here to work on a paper project. And if you also struggle with paper, you may be able to relate to the typical story of paper creeping outside of the study or outside of the office. So actually we spent, it's hard to say how much time, but um, a number of days clearing off the kitchen table. And we did it, and I'm so excited. Actually, right now you're looking at before pictures. My client who's filming, let's see if this works. Can I ask you how long the kitchen table was covered? Ooh, <laughs> uh, probably, probably years. <laughs> years, uh -huh. yes. I walk into many homes where A, the paper is not localized to the office. It could be in a kitchen, hallway, bedroom, elsewhere. And it's a problem that is not just weeks or months long, but years long. So this is, I must say, the most satisfying kitchen table clearing project, is, as you could see from the before picture. So we, of course, didn't just snap our fingers. It took time. And what's important to know is that you don't always have exactly the end result as a crystal clear vision, but nevertheless, you have to start and make do with what you have. So this box here is very important. This is not gonna live on her kitchen table forever, but naturally she threw away so much of what we found and we did it the right way. We meticulously went through every single note, every single receipt, every single bill, paper, you name it. We didn't shove anything aside for later. We did it on the spot, which was why this, this took days. So of everything she chose to keep, we put them in this temporary file box. This temporary file box is not permanent. Eventually we're going to incorporate these files into a greater system in the office, a more permanent system. Also, what you don't see is that there's a file box that's four or five inches deep that houses all of her current um, to-dos, all of her current filing, which is, which is a separate story. But of everything on the table that was important, it, it fits in this box for now. So to give you some idea, of the cross section of what was found on this kitchen table. I'm going to read off some of these. We have we have cars, we have things for her husband's job, we have um, home maintenance, inspiration, uh, travel, warranties, writing projects, and much more. So now that we confidently know everything in here is is current, everything we keep we'll move on to the next phase, which is incorporating this into an existing filing system. But I just wanted to show you that even if you don't have the perfect office, even if you don't have a perfect plan, just start with a very crude file box, a set of sticky notes, um, three tab folders, and go to town. If it's not trash, create a file and worry about where that file is going to go later. And you too can live with a perfectly clear kitchen table. It's definitely within reach. I don't care how covered your table is. So with that, please subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Please visit theinspiredoffice.com for an ebook, blog posts. There's so much more information on there. Thank you so much for watching. Mm -hmm.